We left one heartland for another, making the 300 mile journey north to Edinburgh, the capital city of Scotland, which overwhelmingly voted to stay in the EU. We met up for a drink with chef Jamie McCormack in the city's old town. My country people did not vote to come out of the European Union. England took us out. We didn't vote for this. But wouldn't it be a crisis of democracy if we had one result in 2016 and then another result this isn't, year? Isn't it a crisis of democracy that Scotland are being dragged out of the European Union against their will? Isn't that the crisis of democracy, my friend? Scotland are being dragged out of the European Union against their will only on the votes of the English people. What about the 40-odd percent of Scottish people that voted to leave? But what about the 63 percent of people in Scotland that voted to stay? Why is being Scottish so important? Go outside that door and look around, mate. So we did. Leaving Edinburgh the next morning and driving through the Scottish mountains. We're in the Scottish Highlands and it's just absolutely stunning. Up to the freezing northern coast tomorrow. driven through the mountains and finally arrived at the coast in northern Scotland, the furthest we'll get from Westminster during our trip. What I'm curious to know is why almost half the people voted to leave in 2016. We met up with Sandra Campbell, who was out for an evening walk on the beach. I voted to come out because my brother's fishermen, fishing-wise, they get a rough deal, because they're actually fishermen coming into the area from EU countries who don't have a shoreline. What do you say to people now who are seeking to overturn your decision? Well, I think they should leave it to go to fruition, for it to play out. I think most of us have about had enough of it at the present moment. I don't think we should have another referendum, but I think that it should just really go ahead with the process and just see what the outcome is. During the referendum campaign, do you think you had all the facts? No. No, I don't think um, there was enough information given for people to make a, a proper, um, come to a proper decision. Soon it was time to leave the frosty beaches of Scotland and travel to a place that's become a thorn in the side of those wanting a swift Brexit. Northern Ireland. <laughs>